Hello, welcome back to the Knowledge Catalog. We're still in the biological sciences. Uh, we're about to finish actually uh, grade 9 biology. Uh, for this uh, video, we are going to continue with the learning competency number 6, differentiate basic features and importance of photosynthesis and respiration. If you have your learner's module with you, you may open it in Unit 1, Module 4, pages 5 to 15. Let's begin. This video is divided into the, the usual three parts. Okay, the first part is activity number one, the answers. Uh, it is entitled, what are the structures involved in the food making process in plants? And then for the second part, we will be having a discussion about glycolysis. And then for the last part, we will be having a discussion about Krebs cycle. The following are the answers for activity number one. What are the structures involved in the food making process in plants? For task A, the following are the parts of the cross section of the leaf. You may just pause this video so that you would be able to check your own work. If you have decided to continue, that means you are done checking your own work for task A, activity number one. For task B, the following are the answers. The following are the parts of the chloroplast. You may pause this video so that you will have more time in checking your own work. If you have decided to continue, that means you're done uh, checking your own work for task B, activity number one. Let us continue with task C. The following are the answers for task C. You may pause this video uh, for you to have more time in checking your own work. If you have decided to continue, that means you are done checking your own work for task C. Let us now continue with task D or the last part of this activity. Photosynthesis and then uh, this oval must have the word water. This oval must have the word oxygen. And the two boxes right here are NADPH and NADP. Carbon dioxide must be put in this oval, pointing to Calvin cycle. And Calvin cycle points to this oval for sugar. You notice that we moved uh, this oval to uh, this place, but uh, it, we're still looking for the same um, for the same content. So yeah, in the previous video, uh, nandito siya sa, nagpo-point siya sa NADPH, NADP, pero we moved it, we corrected it with this video. It has to point to Calvin cycle. Okay, so that ends uh, this uh, discussion regarding uh, the answers about, uh, I mean, from, uh, for the questions and the activities. In activity number one, what are the structures involved in the food making process in plants? For the second part of the for the second part of this session, we, we will have a discussion about glycolysis. In the cytoplasm, that means um, this the gel of the uh, cell, so cytoplasm, the um, fluid of the cell, uh, kung saan nakasuspend halos lahat ng mga organelles, cytoplasm. Uh, in the cytoplasm, a six carbon sugar, such as a glucose, is broken down into two molecules of three carbon pyruvate with a net harvest of two molecules of adenosine triphosphate and NADH. So what does it what is it trying to say? Uh, glycolysis is happening it, it happens in the cytoplasm and it happens with the with the use of glucose. So glucose is a six carbon molecule, as you can see here. It has uh, six carbons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then uh, it is going to undergo glycolysis and that happens with the phosphorylation of ADP or adenosine diphosphate with the phosphate, of course, uh, towards becoming ATP or adenosine triphosphate and the, um, hyd okay, and, and the reaction of NAD plus to, for it to gain um, this kind of uh, identity, NADH. So yeah, I'm trying to simplify the uh, terminologies that we are using here because uh, this video is intended for ninth graders in the Philippines. Uh, so again, um, the phosphorylation of ADP will result to ATP and then uh, with the reaction of NADP, NAD plus uh, in the process of a glycolysis, it will become NADH. 
Right, and with that, uh, what happens to the glucose, so the uh, big molecule glucose, it will be broken down to two uh, molecules of pyruvate. And these pyruvates have uh, one, two, three carbons in them. Um, these uh, pyruvates also are subject to different uh, fates. Okay, I, right after glycolysis, pwede siyang mag-undergo ng iba't ibang mga uh, reactions. Pwede siyang uh, uh, maging involved sa different types of reactions. And for this, uh, for, for the purpose of this discussion, it is going to continue in uh, Krebs cycle. So pyruvate is going to uh, react with uh, pyruvate dehydrogenase, which is an enzyme, so that it will be turned into uh, acetyl coenzyme. And then the acetyl coenzyme is going to uh, be turned into, cit into citrate. Uh, with the addition of oxaloacetate. Okay, so again, uh, with the reaction with oxaloacetate, which is a four carbon uh, molecule, um, pyruvate is going to be uh, gum citrate. Okay, so pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme, which reacts to oxaloacetate, and then it will turn it to, into citrate with the use of, of course, uh, an enzyme called citrate synthase. So yeah, medyo mabilis tayo doon. How about we slow down a bit? So remember the pyruvate that was a result of glycolysis? Okay, so one of those pyruvates can undergo uh, changes. Uh, it can react with pyruvate dehydrogenase for it to lose. Uh, uh, car okay, okay, it what will it be you losing? Okay, let's cut that. I think that is quite fast. Let us uh, return to uh, this basic concept. So the pyruvate that will come from glycolysis is going to uh, proceed to Krebs cycle. So in layman's term, um, one of those pyruvates uh, magkakaroon siya ng isang uh, definite na fate. In this case, Krebs cycle. So pyruvate is going to become acetyl coenzyme. Okay, and then this, this acetyl coenzyme uh, lost uh, one of those uh, carbon atoms. So, nag yung isa na carbon atom, uh, it, it was lost. Okay, uh, carbon dioxide, tapos it resulted to NAD, uh, NADH, uh, H+. Okay, so, naging dalawa na lang yung um, carbon niya. From three, naging dalawa na lang. So, acetyl coenzyme siya nun. And then, uh, the acetyl coenzyme will be uh, reacting with this uh, this molecule of, of saloacetate uh, with the use of course of an enz another enzyme called citrate synthase so that ma produce ang citrate and then citrate is going to lose water and then it will become a uh, cis uh, it will uh, undergo a change caused by an enzyme called aconitase which will produce cis aconitate okay and then um, with the addition of water uh, with the addition of water and reaction with aconitase again, it will become D-isocitrate. Uh, and then D-isocitrate will be reacting with NAD+, and then NAD+, will become NADH, uh, H+. And with the reaction with isocitrate dehydrogenase, it will be losing carbon dioxide for it to become alpha-ketoglutarate. Okay, and then uh, you notice that NAD plus here uh, was turned into NADH comma H plus already. And then um, in, after ketaglutarate uh, reacts with the keta alpha ketaglutarate, ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, um, that will be facilitating NAD plus towards becoming NADH comma H plus, another carbon atom is going to be lost. Okay, so it will be undergoing another change and that will be turn it into succinyl coenzyme. And you notice that uh, from a six carbon uh, molecule, it now is only four, a four carbon molecule. And then succinyl coenzyme is going to undergo change because of the uh, phosphorylation of guanosine diphosphate or GDP. It will be turned into GTP. So succinyl coenzyme will become succinyl coenzyme synthase. It will be turning into succinate with the use, of course, of an enzyme called succinyl coenzyme synthetase. Uh, and then I hope you're still following. And then succinyl coenzyme synthetase uh, is going to, of course, uh, produce succinate. And then succinate will be uh, undergoing a separate change uh, through an enzyme called succinic dehydrogenase. And in this case, FAD or flavin adenine diphosphate, FAD, 
is going to react in the process of causing the production of FADH2, a high turning succinate into fumarate. And then fumarate is going to uh, be, high, water is going to be added to fumarate as well as uh, an enzyme called fumarase for it to be turned into malate. And then uh, malate is going to uh, react with an enzyme called malate dehydrogenase and then in the process cause the reaction of NAD plus uh, towards becoming NADH comma H plus for it to become oxaloacetate. So, na-rear na, yung, nakuha na yung needed na, na energy in the form of uh, guanosine uh, triphosphate. Tapos din, uh, nakuha na rin yung, ano, yung NADH. Okay, and then yung FADH. And these are what are going to drive uh, the next um, process okay, in the series. So, glycolysis, it proceeded with uh, the Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle occurs in the mitochondrial matrix and it generates a pool of chemical energy such as ATP, NADH, and FADH2 from the oxidation of pyruvate, the end product of glycolysis. And that ends our discussion for Krebs cycle. Okay, so uh, in this uh, video, you were able to answer your own work, to check your own work, activity number one. And then um, you were also able to engage in a discussion in a lecture for this uh, for glycolysis. And then you were also able to engage in a discussion or lecture for Krebs cycle. This is the Knowledge Catalog. It is a brand being developed by a teacher creator, uh, yours truly. And I am a high school teacher in the Philippines. I love developing content that I find useful and needed to better my instruction. Uh, if you find uh, these kinds of contents that I am uploading useful, you may subscribe to this channel. You may also uh, click that bell button.